G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy XV video, and this time I'm going to be talking about Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition, which launches on March the 6th, and also a little bit about the Xbox crossplay, as well as the pre-order bonuses and the benchmark. So if you didn't know, Final Fantasy XV is coming to the PC. It has been dubbed the Windows Edition, but it is basically the same as the Royal Edition. It will include all the past DLC as well as those downloadable packs, as well as the new Royal Pack content. So you can look at this as up to this date a pretty much a complete edition. Until next year, anyway. You can currently pre-order the game through Steam, Origin or the Windows and each one of them will have separate pre-order bonuses. On the Steam store you get the Fashion Pack which has a variety of different shirts from the DLC episodes for Noctis. If you order through the Origin store you get a variety of decals for the Regalia which uh, reflect the DLC episodes as well. And for the Windows Edition you get a Power Up Pack and with this edition you get a sword and some consumable items. Now for me, considering we know that the Windows Edition is moddable, I don't really understand these uh, pre-order bonuses but anyway we'll see how they play out. If they are like any of the other DLC equipment and weapons we get, they'll be obsolete pretty quickly. For me, the Steam one is looking most attractive at this point. So along with the announcement of the Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition, they have also said that there will be cross-play between the Xbox and the Windows Edition. So this is great news for people on the Xbox because I know the, um, the player base over on the Xbox isn't as big. The Xbox really hasn't taken grip in Japan and most Asian countries, so uh, it's lacking that player base over there. So hopefully this will help bolster those numbers for the multiplayer comrades expansion. I think Xbox users have been reporting for a while now that their version of Final Fantasy XV on their Xbox has actually been called the Windows Edition. So yeah, I guess it's a prelude to that. Also last week we saw the release of the benchmarking tool for the PC or the Windows Edition. Now this gave you a fairly limited range of options to test out your computer and it gave you an overall score at the end of it. I noticed though even though I have a fairly decent computer when I ran the 4K settings there was quite a bit of stuttering in it. Otherwise it was pretty lag free but it was just kind of stuttering. It wasn't a real lag, it was a bit of a stutter. And on the Final Fantasy XV official English Twitter, they have mentioned that that is a known issue and they intend to fix it for the full game. So if you haven't got the benchmark already and you intend on getting this on the PC, I highly recommend that to see if you can run it. But just note it's not going to run optimally uh, in its current state, but it'll give you a good idea if your computer can handle it or not. I will put the links to the different regions for that benchmark down in the description below, so make sure you check that out. So there you go guys, uh, some information on the Windows Edition. I know I have pre-ordered mine already via Steam and I'm pretty pumped to get it. Uh, I can't wait to see it in nice 4K on the PC. Are you going to get the Windows Edition or how do you score in the uh, benchmark? I did fairly well on the, uh, the 4K score with my GTX 1080 so I am uh, definitely looking forward to the Windows Edition. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Any comments or suggestions, then leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo!